John Stahl runs a hand paper making and printing business in Northern California. He has found that hemp stalks produce the best fine quality art paper. Wood pulp is used for paper making not because it's suitable, simply because it's cheap and it's a byproduct of uh, the whole logging industry. But the uh, available cellulose is something like 30%. It's really not very good and it has to be um, processed with all kinds of toxic chemicals. Since the invention of the wood paper process around the turn of the century, paper quality has deteriorated, and so has the environment. The water that comes out of the pulp plant, out of the pulp process, has large quantities of chemicals that are potentially toxic to marine organisms that live in the bay. Those chemicals include dioxins, they include chloroform, and a whole suite of other chlorinated organic compounds. Over 2,000 have been identified. Hemp, on the other hand, is, is somewhere in, in, around 77% cellulose and very few impurities, and it really is an ideal material for paper making. Realising the problems associated with wood pulp paper, the Dutch government has launched a major research project involving eight different research institutes to study hemp's potential as a fibre crop for paper and other uses. I hope that this um, research will finally uh, produce uh, a process where we can use uh, uh, hemp to make uh, fibres that can be used for paper and probably also other products in such a way that we will have a complete uh, clean process and an energy efficient uh, process that causes very little uh, pollution and that also will prevent yeah, the cutting down of trees uh, somewhere else in the world. Hemp is one crop that looks promising because it is, a, it is a plant that is pretty resistant to a lot of diseases and it grows well in the Netherlands. It can be used without using pesticides and it doesn't need very special requirements with respect to soil nutrients. It needs some fertilizer but not uh, that much. Normally uh, hemp grows the best in some warmer climates than the type of climate that we have in the Netherlands but even in the Netherlands hemp is growing pretty fast. The Dutch are proud of their perfect crop, three to four metres in height. Commercial hemp is also well established in France, where they have licensed farmers to grow strains that are almost drug free. Cultivation for the purpose of paper making really began around 1960. So now there are between 3,000 and 10,000 hectares. It is used to make special paper and in particular cigarette paper. In order to make this kind of paper, you need textile fibers that are very resilient. Hemp is one of the few plants in the world that contains fibers of a very high quality. The United Kingdom licensed commercial hemp in 1993 and is already producing a variety of hemp products, including this fine writing paper. In Australia, the Tasmanian government has allowed this experimental non-drug strain crop at the instigation of Patsy Harmson. In Australia, we'd be very silly to let a crop like hemp go because it could solve a lot of our problems. One of our major problems is soil degradation. And just like in the old days when hemp was used to repair land after soil erosion, it could just as easily be used these days for repairing our own soil. It's a natural weed suppressant because of the way it grows. It grows on these tall, skinny stalks for good fibre, just with a thick canopy of leaves up above, and that just um, prevents anything underneath from being able to grow. The other beautiful thing about hemp is its long taproot, and the taproot binds the soil together. The nutrients in the hemp plant are concentrated in both the roots and the leaves and the flower head. And because if you're growing it for fibre, you're only removing the stalk, the roots stay in the ground and the leaves and the flower heads are returned to the soil, which means that you're returning most of your nutrients. You're only removing cellulose and water if you're growing it for paper or textiles. Here in Australia, we're virtually giving away our native forests at a price of, say, $70 to $80 a tonne. Hemp, on the other hand, could be a wonderful replacement and would fetch $400 at least dollars a tonne.
Jim Young is one of the few voices in the US paper industry calling for change. He's the executive editor of Pulp and Paper magazine. North America obviously has been blessed with uh, an abundance of uh, wood fiber, but the situation is changing now. We're coming to the end of the line on, on the virgin timber, and it's time to look at other sources of fiber toward the, to be used in the pulp and paper process here. And hemp is certainly one that should be considered for that uh, use in future uh, operations of our pulp and paper mills. The federal government has uh, recognized the need for finding alternatives for uh, to wood pulp because uh, we're running out of trees. Way back in 1916, they published Bulletin 404 from the United States Department of Agriculture suggesting hemp as an alternative for wood pulp. They discovered that an acre of hemp would yield four times as much pulp as a wood fiber on a sustained yield basis. Not only that, the hemp can be grown anywhere. It grows like a weed so that you could very easily supply the pulp mills with hemp and save the few trees that do remain to us for timber. The textile industry is also experiencing a resurgence of interest in hemp. The beauty of the hemp fibre is that it could be many things uh, depending on its method of cultivation and the method of processing. These can range from coarse um, hessians, industrial fabrics such as carpet backings, to the finest linens with special steam treatment, uh, the fibre can fibrillate and produce a cloth of a silky consistency, which is indistinguishable from, uh, from natural silk. Uh, it's limited only by your imagination and the technology that's uh, been developed over hundreds of years. The fabrics that we're producing at the moment utilises either pure hemp or a blend of hemp and cotton. The jacket, for instance, that I'm wearing at the moment, 100% 11-ounce hemp linen, it has all the characteristics and uh, appeal of a natural linen. Oh.